It was just another ordinary day at Springwood High School. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and the students were bustling to their classes. But little did they know, a horror was about to unfold that would leave them all traumatized. In the corner of the school's library, there was an old and dusty box that nobody had ever touched. It had been there for decades, hidden away from sight. But one day, a group of curious students stumbled upon it and decided to take a look inside. What they found inside sent chills down their spines, it was a creepy, blind doll. The doll was unlike anything they had ever seen before. It had porcelain skin, jet black hair, and big, empty eye sockets. But what was most disturbing was that the doll could speak. Its voice was high-pitched and childlike, but there was an eerie quality to it that made the students uneasy. As the students started to play with the doll, strange things began to happen. The temperature in the room dropped drastically, and a cold breeze swept through the library. Books started falling off the shelves, and the lights flickered on and off. The doll spoke more frequently, its words becoming increasingly cryptic and unsettling. As the days went by, the doll's presence seemed to grow stronger. Students reported seeing it move on its own, or hearing its voice when nobody else was around. Some even claimed to have seen its empty eye sockets turn and follow them around the room. It wasn't long before the school was engulfed in a wave of terror. Students refused to go to the library or even walk by it, fearing the doll's malevolent presence. The school administrators tried to dismiss it as a prank or a figment of the students' imagination, but deep down they knew that something was terribly wrong. One day, a brave student decided to confront the doll. Armed with a camera and a flashlight, she walked into the library and started asking the doll questions. At first, the doll's answers were cryptic and confusing. But then, it started revealing things that nobody could have known as secrets about the students, their families, and even the school itself. The student quickly realized that the doll was possessed by a malevolent spirit, one that had been trapped inside the box for decades. She knew that she had to do something to stop it before it caused any more harm. With the help of her friends, the student devised a plan to exorcise the spirit from the doll. It was a dangerous and terrifying task, but they knew that they had no other choice. Armed with candles, salt, and a prayer book, they entered the library and began the exorcism. For hours, they battled the spirit, reciting incantations and banishing it with holy water. The doll thrashed and screamed, its voice growing louder and more sinister. But finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the spirit was banished back to the darkness where it belonged. The doll was now just an inanimate object once again, and the school returned to its normal state. But the students would never forget the terror that had swept through their school, and the power of the supernatural forces that they had faced. And as they graduated and moved on with their lives, they knew that they would always be haunted by the memory of the blind doll speaking in their high school.